folks in this video I'm gonna fix this warped cooler this leading edge on my cooler has bowed out towards us and you can tell that when you go to close the cooler it doesn't seal there anymore okay it seals everywhere else around but this used to seal if you see me push I can push on that it gets a seal now how I can tell that or how I found out that it's not sealing correctly is I go to these events for about four days or five days at a time sometimes and there's a lot of dust in the air well I've been finding my ice becoming dirty because of the dust is getting in there and that also means that my ice isn't gonna last as long because the air is getting it. I'm not getting a good seal. So I'm going to fix that problem real quick. How I plan on doing this is I'm going to drill a hole right in the center and I'm going to put a piece of all thread through it. Then from each end of the all thread, I can tighten that down against the outside, which will draw that part of the cooler inwards. Let's do that. Okay, folks, you'll have to excuse me for the airplanes driving by. That's just part of where I live. So I'm going to go right into the middle here. Go right through it. I take my all thread off. This is a half an inch. I find out where it's going to hit as it comes out the back. Right there. I'll drill another hole through the back of it. Just like that. Now, run my all thread through there. Put the bolt on the back side. These are nylock bolts. I'll show you that in just a second. What a nylock bolt is. It's if you don't know what a nylock bolt is, these bolts require no um, lock nuts. They have nylon, little, little plastic nylon inside of there that keeps them in place so they don't vibrate back out. So now I have my all thread through there. I'm going to tighten it down to where it draws that in to where it makes the seal like it did originally when I bought this five years ago. Okay, this cooler is five years old. This is a Coleman 150 quart extreme cooler. Now, I've been looking at buying some Yetis and some other different types of coolers to replace this with, but this cooler has been well taken care of and you can tell for five years old it's, it's, it's really been taken well care of. And I'm gonna get another five years out of it by adding this bar in here to pull it back to where it's supposed to be and get a good seal. And my ice is gonna last longer too. Now what I've done is on the back of the cooler, I do not want my all thread to protrude past the uh, nut. So I got it just flush with the nut. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna hold the all thread with a pair of pliers and I'm gonna wrench this down until it pulls it in to where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna trim this off to where it's not sticking out also. Check it. 
Not quite enough yet. I'm gonna give it some more. Not quite. It's gonna get. It's getting there though. There we are. Now let me show you folks how how this is supposed to work. That's supposed to hit and then push down and stay. Just like like that. That's how it worked when I first bought it. Let's bring the camera angle around and show you something. Show you the other direction. Okay. Now you see there's no gap there. I get a good seal. My ice should last longer and it should stay cleaner. Now I will trim this off with a sawzall and uh, voila. Well, it doesn't appear that I can get right on it to where I need to be. So what I want to do is I just want to make a mark with my saw. Now I'm going to remove this and put it in a vise and cut it back just a little bit closer. Now we can reassemble everything and that should be it. Go ahead and put this through here. Run that through the back. We'll go around back and put the nut and washer back on the back. Okay, you may be asking what I'm going to do about this broken strap. Well, what I'm going to do about that is I'm going to take that out and I'm going to use a old piece of ratchet strap. It's a zip tie. Which I've got right here. And I'm going to make me a new hinge out of that. Watch this. All right, let's measure how long that is against that. Put a mark right there. Which, just hold on to it. Go ahead and snap that off. Then I can put my screws right through this and have a new hinge. Watch this. Okay. All you really got to do now is just screw that in. Ah. Get your screw started. Screw that in. In there. Put your other screw in where it was. Now I got a new hinge holder. Actually, the that's not the hinge. That's just to keep it from going back too far and breaking the hinges. There we go, folks. That's a cooler repair. And if we look down here, let's go into the seal again. One more time before I lose my battery. It's got a good seal. You can see how, how good that is sealing in there. Perfect. Folks, rather than buying a new cooler, I went to Ace and spent $7 on parts and fixed that cooler.